Crux back with another video, and in today's video we are playing Hermit Pack on... I don't know what the server's name is because we have not yet decided. Um, I have a lot to show you guys, and I'm very excited to do so. I've been playing a lot off camera and got a lot done. I mean, a lot. But first of all, let's check out the base. Now, originally, I said I wanted to do some kind of hermit hole, something like that. But uh, the space I was given, I did something even bigger. I made a vault type of vault. Tried to make a vault. Um, there are vault doors in this mod pack, but it is for a multi storage system that creates an actual vault for like a bank or something. Which, in my case, does not work for this. Um, it just. It just won't work for what I want it to. But, um, this isn't the finished door, it's just temporary, I didn't feel like messing around with it anymore. But a lot has changed, um, I said I wanted to make a mob spawn over here because I, I said it looked like it naturally meant to be there, so that's what I did. Um, I'm gonna make more in the future, but for now this is just temporary. <laughs> Alright, now that I'm done yawning, uh, this is what we have so far, so it's not bad, it works well. But also, I decided to make these quantum storage units, which hold all of our items, and you can actually see them within the RS system, which is really, really cool. And I will show you guys how you can do that yourselves, because I also want to set more up. But, let's take a stack out of there. But also, I have a lot to show you guys with it here. I made a tier 2 void or controller and the whole system, which is very, very cool. Also, torturinos have been added back to the pack. So let's take a look at the recipes. It's expensive. That's all I can say is it's very expensive. But um, if you guys know what these are, this is a crafter and auto crafts. And here is my auto crafting system. This is for basic uh, parts for our RS system, whether it be upgrades. Um, you can actually look in these crafters. Uh, these are the parts I have in here right now. So you can basically craft anything within this system, the RS mod. Which is very, very cool. Also, I do have a temporary tree farm set up out here. It will be moved and upgraded and such. It's currently off right now, but it is just... Yeah, it's it's messy. But, right now, what I want to do is set up two more quantum storage units. And I want to show you guys... Um, with these, these hold up to 500 million items, I do believe. Um, they're not actually in our RS system. Um, we have a lot of space left because of me, uh, removing all of our big items. But I'm gonna do our wood and stone now, and I will show you guys how to do that. So you're gonna need some basic items, um... Quantum storage unit. It's very cheap. Um, obsidian, iron, and a chest, and you have a like a deep storage unit. And we'll throw this one here. This one has our wood in it. So all you do is you can shift click items in there. And a quick way to get them out of your RS system is you can throw an exporter down. I recommend having a stack upgrade. Uh oh, did I just put that into the system? Uh, that's no big deal, we'll just stack, upgrade, and we will open this, put our stack upgrade in there, and then take some cable, and run it over to your controller. Now if you take a look in here, um, this should be exporting, oh, we did not set an item, wood. There we go, now you will see all of our wood is actually being taken from our system, slowly draining, and being put into our quantum storage unit. Now another thing you can do, which uh, I'm in the middle of crafting 
more speed upgrades, but you can take the speed upgrades out of any other machine you have them in and put them in your exporter. I'm having a lot of lag, but uh, you put them in here. Uh, and now it just really flies. It will clean your system very fast. Like, you can see all the items leaving there. So it's very, very fast. And it's all done. All of our oak wood is now in this quantum storage unit. Now I want to uh, take this off. And you put the external storage like that. on the back of this, and you put the item of choice in here, and you set the priority on this to 1, so this is automatically where the wood will go even if you throw it within that system. So that's very cool, very helpful. Now we also wanted to do this for stone. So you, uh, make sure you have stone in there, and then just do the same exact thing. You're going to throw our stack upgrade and speed upgrades in there, and then a cable. And now, what did I forget? I forgot to put a piece of stone in our filter. Now you will see that, I believe it is going, it's just lagging right now. Is it? Oh, I ran out of power because it is nighttime. That is something I also have to address. I will probably get to that in the next video. I have a tier 3 solar panel uh, from Environmental Tech, and it's awesome during the day. But at night, it's, it, it's very bad. Um, all my machines are sucking up this. So this is just completely empty right now. But now you can see all of our items are going into here, all of our stone I should say. Um, I have um, all of these items up to osmium in there. Um, you can see the wood is now in here, which is very very cool. And in just a second you will be able to see all of the stone that was put in here. So what we're going to need to do is cut out this wall Put your external storage there and slap a piece of wood there. I, okay, right there you can see it holds 536.8 million items. We currently have 13,000 in there. That's just a, just a little bit of how much it holds, which is awesome. Now that all of our items are in there, we can take out this wire because it's in the middle of the floor, and that's it. Oh. I want to put this back in here because if not, it is very slow. So we'll be able to put that there and catch it up. We'll put a speed upgrade in there, and that should catch up just fine. Also, I want to put our speed upgrades back into here because it actually, I see a difference. I don't know if there actually is, but I feel like there is. So we are going to slap that back in there. Now, I mean, there's quite a few things I really want to do this episode. I want to move our farm... Leave that guy there. I want to move our farm from out here over to there. Um, I want to get it out of the front of there. But I need something. Um, I started, uh, I don't know how you pronounce my PSI, Psi, I don't know, and I had put a spell on here that was a 3x3, three three. mine like a shovel, but it's now gone, and I don't know for the life of me why, and when it comes to this mod, I am absolutely stupid, um, I really am, like, I... I do my best to try and understand it, but I, I just can't comprehend it. Um, maybe I need our little pew pew pistol. Um, let's see what this one does. Okay. 
Okay, so this might be 3x3. Three three. So I'll probably just use this. And honestly, I don't want to get into that on video. I feel like that would take up way too much time. But if you guys do want to see how that is set up, let me know and I will boot you guys. I just don't want to get into that this episode. So, yeah. Um, but what we're going to do, and I don't know if you guys did see that, but there are guardians that actually spawn down here. Which is super, super weird. Um... I don't mind it, but also I got an Unbreaking 3 Blade Orang Zoomerang. I think this is the max you can get on this. This thing is insanely good. Um, it's faster, a lot faster. It does so much more damage now. It's just absolutely insane. But um, you can actually, after you kill, you can actually throw this Zoomerang and pick up items and XP with it. So, I thought that's very cool. This thing seems to not lose that much speed underwater. But there's another one. Alright, now that that's over with, let's... Losing items. Let's get our magnet out. I don't know how far this way I want to go with it. I want to get it into this mountain at least. So I want to stick to that kind of theme. I will have this stuff moved over there and I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back. This is what I have set up so far. Now, um, ooh, wow. I didn't think of that. It's doing it pretty far out still. We're not gonna want that. Oh, I'm gonna have to replace these blocks. Probably just outline it with salt. Alright, well, I'll do this one. It won't bother me. I'm sure you guys my errors so you don't make them. Alright, 
probably because I have uh, octatic uh, capacitor in there, it makes it uh, work wider, store more energy, work faster. I had it in there to make it more efficient, and I guess it's doing its job. But black walls, white floors. Probably do a chisel and bit around this. But this is our setup. Now, finishing touch, we can put the Reno on top. Max area and the 400% uh, increase. And it's working just fine. Now, I did not add trees to this because I just didn't see a need to put trees there. Um, we have 10,000 wood right now as is, so I really don't see the point in adding a farm as of this second. Um, I will do a separate tree farm, and I'll probably keep it outside so I can try and keep it natural looking. But, yeah, um, I'm probably gonna spruce this up a little bit more, and, and this is the finished product. Um, there are some things I can work on. Uh, these chiseled bits probably took the longest just trying to figure out how to lay them down, but overall I think it looks pretty good. You can see there is an incline there, but I mean that's really not going to bother me. This is working just fine without our torturino, but when we want to, I can do that. I also have an unbreakable matic in here, that's how that's working, but other than that, yeah, on to the next project. Alright, so I think the next thing I want to start working on is an elevator. Um, elevators are from RF Tools, I believe. Elevator. Yes. Alright, now this is where things start getting a little complicated, but also very cool. So, let's get maybe five of these crafted up. And then we'll go with, um, two, three, four, five. All right, we're also going to need screens. Just going to need machine bases. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on. Five. Oh, we created six. Oh, well. Let's go create all of these. And we're also going to need a screen controller. So we're going to need more of these. And I believe that is it. Um, while we are here, we're going to need to ender energy. We're going to need more of this stuff. I don't know how much vibrant alloy, if any, I have. Here, have some. Ooh, I ran out of conduit binder. How about that? What am I missing? Sand? Probably sand. Um, I have this thing that I use to auto craft sand. Well, not really auto craft, auto smell. It's quite noisy, so what is a sound muffler? It is wool and a milk block. Oh wow, I don't have any links. Oh, now I do. Let's crack the milk block. Come on. Wow, that thing works great. I like that. Alright, now... In this alloy smelter, I have it always smelting cobblestone into stone because I use stone a lot. Um, I mean, I use... I have this builder's wand. 
I will show you the unbreakable wand. Um, we'll go over here and unbreakable wand. It is this one. So this is what you do. It's a uh, first one is four thousand blocks. It's another star, and then two of these, and then two of these make one of these, and then two of these ones make one of these ones. So I mean, it's kind of expensive with metal stars, but. I also have a tome. A tome. Oh, come on. Tome of Alkahestry. This thing got nerfed a lot, but it still works like a champ. And especially when you have 23,000 redstone, you can do it at will. So, we are still creating the Ender Energy. Oh. Energy Conduit. And are we not creating sand? What's going on here? Yeah, we're creating glass. Oh, we don't need glass. Shit. Um. Never act. Does the sand just... where does it pile up? Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, this is a chance I could show you guys the acceleration one. This works just like a torturino. If you shift... hold shift and right click... or, well, you hold shift and hold right click, it will actually just fly through this stuff. Which is awesome. So there we go, we got a lot of sand. We'll just let this start going back up again. But if we put this, the two sand there, should be able to craft a heck ton of that stuff. We'll just throw this in there. And now we should be able to. Not doing enough. We should be able to make a bunch of this stuff. Now we're out of fiber and alloys. And this stuff is energetic alloy and ender pearl, and that is that. We'll have to find a way to make a glowstone. But for now, to find a place for our elevator. I think I already know where I want it. I just don't know if there's a center point, because that's an even number. I think this might be an odd. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So I think this is close to the middle, so we'll make a line out of orbs. We'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think it is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, how about it? I already. Hello? Okay. I already had the middle. Like, pointed out with those already, which is really cool. I did not actually try to do that. Oh. Alright. This is where I did have my uh, Ender Pearl farm. Stone. I don't want more of this, and also this. All right. So we're gonna want that a different color, but for now, I mean that color works just fine. Right. What can 
good. But I am not going to actually make this elevator in this episode because we are running out of time. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any other suggestions, which I loved all the feedback from the last episode, so thank you for that. But if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. Um, maybe a power source I can use for at night. Because, I don't know, I put this down here. And this is actually staying pretty charged now. So this could actually work. I actually had um, this thing going straight to the power instead of uh, buffering through this. So I think that could actually work the way it is. So I'll leave it like that, but if you have any suggestions, like I said, just let me know. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.